L&D is, is going through a, a massive period of change right now. Been involved in it for, for 20 years plus, I've seen very little change over the last probably 17, 18 years. The biggest change being going from overhead projectors to, to PowerPoint. Now digital is really coming to its own. And what I'm seeing is the L&D professionals just haven't got the skills to make that transition from the classroom to the virtual classroom. And it's, it, it, and it's quite frightening, really. There's, there's thousands and thousands of L&D professionals out there, uh, or trainers, really, that's what they are. And they've got to do a lot in the next, probably six to 18 months. Otherwise, a lot of them are going to get replaced by an app. Um, the, back in the day, I would say knowledge was power. Now knowledge is free. You can get the knowledge anywhere. What, where the power comes from is being able to turn that knowledge into skills and then being able to apply it within the workplace to improve business performance. I think every team's different. There's a lot of research that's been done by the people at Towards Maturity. Uh, the, the research that they come out with every year shows where the gaps are. I think that's a very good starting point and I recommend anyone with an L&D team to go through the Towards Maturity process, get their own individual reports on the back of that. Then once you've got that report, you can start to put together a individual development plan for your own people. I don't think it's a one size fits all. The big one for me is to be able to manage the virtual classroom. The, the skills needed for the virtual classroom and, uh, and delivering over the web are so different to delivering in real life. You've, you've not got the same feedback that you get from the, from the learners. You're having to um, deliver more confidently and, and be more succinct with what you do. Get the, get the bite-sized learning across and you've got to, got to be more engaging, you've got to keep the attention of your audience. And I think that's one of the big skills that's lacking right now. And one of the gaps that if, if I could give people, if I give L&D people one piece of advice, it would be become a good virtual trainer rather than a classroom trainer, if you want to survive in this, in this profession. That's an interesting one. You've got some people who are trying to expand their skill set to become good at a lot of different things. But I do think there are, there are people now that are realizing that actually I want to be good at one or two things and become really expert at that. And so specializing, I think, is the way that it's going to go. And find out something that you're already good at that you can become even better at and become an expert in that area. And then I, th then I think that's where real progression can happen and, and up in those skills levels. So rather than trying to be kind of good or mediocre at a lot of things, be really, really good and expert at one or two. Simple answer, no. And I mentioned the Towards Maturity Report uh, a few minutes ago or previously, and it's, it's frightening. Every year for the last five or six years, exactly the same skills gaps are being highlighted. There's no progress being made. And for L&D to, to continue to progress or even to start progressing, uh, they need to, need to take those skills gaps very seriously and start to take action now. Stay current. Keep up to date with, with the changing trends, uh, read the reports, find out what's, what's happening out there, but also keep, keep on developing yourself. Keep on developing the skills, your knowledge, and, and if you do that, you've got, you've got a chance of, of surviving and being here in the months and years to come. If you don't, uh, you, you, the, the traditional L&D roles will become redundant, 
and you will get replaced by that app.